Hi everyone, and uh, today we're going to have a go at freeing a lion from its photograph. Um, so I've got a picture of a lion here, um, and I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to copy the image, and I'm going to go into Photoshop, and I'm going to start a new composition. The width and height will be exactly the same as the image that I've just copied. That's how Photoshop works. And when I hit Control V on my keyboard, paste, there's my wonderful line. So a good technique when you're working in Photoshop is I'm not going to be using the background, so I'm just going to double click on that and chuck it into the trash can because I don't need it. What I am going to do is create a copy of this original image just in case later on I mess up and I need to start again. I will always have my original that I can go back to. And uh, let's see if I need to do that in today's. And this one is just going to be my original copy that I'm going to be working on. Now in this tutorial we're also going to be messing around with a white photo frame. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select white as my foreground color and I'm going to choose a shape which is going to be a rectangle. What other shapes are there? Mm, okay, I'm just going to stick with the rectangle and I'm just going to draw a photo frame around my lion. Now as you're drawing any kind of a shape you can click spacebar and that will allow you to move the shape around so you can decide exactly where you want to position the shape before you let go. So just touch the spacebar and move your mouse and you can move the shape around. Let go and you can resize it. So I'm just going to draw um, a rectangle leaving some parts of the lion on the outside of the rectangle. The mouth will be outside. I'm going to leave the feet and the tail. How about that? Brilliant. Now what I want to do is cut out the middle of this rectangle. So I'm going to take my rectangular lasso tool and just draw a rectangle. I'm just going to use that space bar trick again just to move until I get it exactly where I want it. That's not too bad. And I'm going to do layer vehicle... Oh, it's not going to let me do it. What's wrong with that? Ah, yeah. This rectangle is a shape and you can't cut shapes. If you want to cut a shape, you have to rasterize it. Now we have a shape that is cuttable. So I'm going to cut that shape. And there we go. This shape one layer is now a frame. So the middle bit that I cut out, this bit here, layer one, I'm just going to trash can that. I don't want it. I'm not going to use it. But I do want the frame. Now I can mess around with the frame by going to Edit and Transform and I've got some different options here for messing with images. For example I could choose Perspective and with the Perspective selection I can just kind of mess around with how this thing looks. So that's... and I can change it and do whatever I want with it. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's make it look a bit weird. Okay, I'm going to go with that for now. What other options are there there just while we're playing? Edit, transform, pff, I don't know, how about distort? What does distort do? Ooh, okay. Anyway, you're free to play um, as, you, as you wish. Let's go with that. Brilliant. Now then, I'm going to go back to my um, image of the lion, which is on my original copy layer, and I'm going to get rid of everything outside the frame. So I'm just going to go to, uh, let's just turn off this bottom layer here so we're not distracted by that. Turn it off. And how am I going to cut out all this stuff? There are loads of techniques. It's really up to you how you go about this. You could, for example, use the eraser tool, use your square bracket keys on the keyboard, to change the size of the eraser and just start to erase the background. That's one of, um, obvious method. You could also use something like the polygon lasso tool to select part 
parts of the, the image and just press delete on your keyboard. And that's a quick way to delete stuff. It might come in handy when I'm doing the tail. How am I? Because I don't want to delete the tail. I want to keep the tail. Let's go back to the eraser tool. I'm just going to work my way over that. Let's turn the flow up. And why is it not erasing? Ah, because I've got a, a selected area here. Control D to deselect that. Silly me. And let's go back to erasing again. There we go. Got it. Just going to erase everything except the tail and except the frame. Oh, this is going to be tricky now. And look what I've done as well. Um, I left the flow of the eraser at 32%, so I've still got some dark edges around that. Oh, that's going to be tricky, isn't it? This is going to take me quite a while. Let's go back to the polygon lasso tool. I'm just going to go around the lion as carefully as I can. Maybe zoom in while I'm doing this. Yep, I can zoom in. Although you can't see what I'm doing if I do that. Oh dear, that's tricky. That's a tricky bit. Okay. That's it. Delete on the keyboard. Control D. Anywhere else I can do that. Let's do it here. Just very quickly. Please bear with me. I'll just be one minute. Delete on the keyboard. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into that yet. I'll come back to that bit because that looks tricky. I'll just the best I can. I'm sorry, whiskers. I don't need you, so I'm just going to get rid of the whiskers. Delete that. I'll come back to that bit in a minute. Um, I've got to do this bit in here. Just you can go and make a cup of coffee while I'm doing this, because this is just going to take me a few minutes. Why did I leave that there? And the tail, oh my goodness, this is going to take me a little bit of time, isn't it? Dear, 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 what was I thinking? I should never have even started this tutorial. Square brackets on the keyboard, and let's just quickly and expertly... Oh yes, look at that. Am I an expert? This is what practice does, by the way. The more you practice, the easier all of these things become. Notice that I'm not erasing the frame, because I'm not on the frame layer. I'm on the tie the lion layer. Just messed that up a little bit, but we'll we'll go with that, and um, we'll just work our way here. You can't see what I'm doing because of the frame of my screen capture. There we go. Now let me show you something that I discovered the other day, and it's about an eraser called the background eraser tool. Now with the background eraser, I can pinpoint a color there that kind of greeny brown color and as I work my way around the image it will only erase greeny brown colors so let's do a reset here y you can see that it hasn't deleted any of the pink it's only deleting that brown color that I selected when I started so just to show you how that works again let's just maximize that in the middle there do you see the cursor the crosshair when I click, I select that greeny brown color. Within the tool, I also have white and pink, but none of that will be deleted. Check this out. None of that's deleted because it's not the same color. Very useful tool. Greeny brown, everything else stays. Okay? So this is the background eraser tool. And it's very useful for very quickly erasing awkward colors. Wow, that's not bad, is it? What a cool tool. That's, that's become one of my favorite tools in Photoshop. Anyway, there we go. So we've done most of it. Um, I'm just going to choose the eraser tool again. Get rid of this junk here. And the final step is the easiest bit. We're going to go to shape one, which is the white rectangle. I'm just going to call that frame. And I'm going to erase 
all of the frame bits that are covering the lion's body parts. I can't really see that line clearly. So on the frame layer, I'm just going to drop the opacity down so I can see where the lion's head starts and stops. And I'm going to start deleting the frame around that area, all off that area. Just come down to the edge there, be careful. Try not to, try and be as accurate as you can. We've got to do the same with the legs. You can see the edge of the leg there and there, just using the eraser tool to go around and cut out everywhere where the frame crosses the lion's body. Just do the tail and we'll zoom out. Control minus on the keyboard. Is there any more? I think that's everything. Let's put the opacity back up. And there we have it. We have the lion stepping out of its photograph. In fact, I'm just going to go back to the original copy and I'm going to cut out this bit of the lion's leg just to make it look like it's still standing inside the frame. Ah, but I've already deleted the frame, haven't I? Oh, okay. Let me show you a quick trick. I'm just going to select that area of the frame. I'm on the frame layer. Select that area. Choose white. Get your paint bucket. Fill that back in. Perfect. Control D. Super. And now it looks like the line is indeed stepping out of the photograph. Now, when I've finished, I can merge all these frames. So I don't want to merge the original. I'm just going to keep that invisible these two frames which are visible, these two layers, I'm going to merge visible. And that now becomes one layer. So what I can do now is move it around, put it in the corner. Let's put a background color onto this composition. And I can start to design something like a poster or whatever it is that I'm trying to design. Okay, so play around with it and see what you can do. See if you can make an animal step out of its frame in Photoshop.